Uh, I've actually got to meet him when I was going to the Congress of South African uh, Students Congress, SASCO. Yeah. I think that was in 2004. And then I was a candidate for Secretary General of SASCO at that time. Right. So in one of the caucuses, like uh, he was not in SASCO that time. He was a professional secretary of the ANC Youth League okay. in Limpompo. And then the Congress of SASCO was taking place in the University of Limpompo Teflop campus. Mm. So in one of the deliberations, you know, when people are consolidating numbers, then I, I see he <laughs> enters, he says that, no, this is our candidate. We're going to win with this candidate. Uh, yeah. But I had obviously known him and I've known about him uh, because he was a leader of COSAS and the leader of the ANC clique. But uh, in that Congress, I was a candidate and he was uh, very much involved in uh, wow. trying to support my candidate to be a Secretary General uh, of SAS. Because that, that, that is how we got uh, to meet. And uh, that is how we got to meet. And then the other time when I had a far much more solid impression, mm was when I was in the National Committee of the Young Communist League and I was presiding mm. over a provincial uh, congress of the Young Communist League in Limpompo. And then he came to speak uh, on behalf of the ANC Youth League. And he spoke far much more emphatically in terms of uh, the agenda which uh, had to constitute the, the programs of young people um, at that time. But mm. also he spoke clear left politics, uh, which was contrary to the dominant narrative of ANC leaders at that particular period because you had uh, a lot of uh, ANC leaders who were repeating after the national leaders. Mm, this was in the Mbeki era.